Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Missile defense battle space is divided into two parts called endo-atmospheric and exo-atmospheric. The missile interception that happens within Earth's atmosphere is called endo-atmospheric and out of the atmosphere is called exo-atmospheric. An endo-atmospheric missile remains within the Earth's atmosphere that is at an altitude below 100 km. Now, on 2nd November, the world has witnessed the India's new capability of neutralizing the ballistic missile. On 3rd November, the DRDO chief, Dr. Samir Kamath, has shared few important information about the test in an interview with ANI. The DRDO chief called the AD-1 missile test as a significant jump in India's military capability against the ballistic missiles. As per DRDO chief, in Phase 1, the capability was developed to destroy an incoming missile of 2,000 km class. The median test of AD-1 has helped to intercept any missile of 5,000 km class. He further said that the interceptor will provide greater operational flexibility to the users and have the capability to engage many different types of targets. Once our radar picks it up, it will be able to track it, our defense system can be activated and missile can be intercepted. It is mainly endo-atmospheric but it also works in low exo-atmospheric region. We are parallelly developing for high exo-atmospheric region. The entire system of BMD including AD-1 and high exo-atmospheric missile will be ready by 2025. In phase 2 of BMD program, two new anti-ballistic missiles that is AD-1 and AD-2 that can intercept intermediate range ballistic missile IRBM are being developed. AD-1 is propelled by two-stage motor and equipped with indigenously developed advanced control system, navigation and guidance algorithm to precisely guide the vehicle to the target. These three systems are going to be the key for the accuracy and lethality of the missile. Now these interceptors are expected to be hypersonic that is having speed between max 6 to 7 so that the time taken for interception is less. AD-1 is a long-range interceptor missile designed for both low exo-atmospheric and endo-atmospheric interception of medium-range ballistic missiles and aircraft. It can even intercept targets at near space that is low exo-atmospheric space. The aircraft which has been mentioned here would be AVOX, aerial refuelers and transport aircrafts. On 2nd November 2022, India sent a message regarding the development of its Phase 2 of BMD program with the median test of AD-1 missile. As per the MOD press release, the missile was tested with large kill altitude bracket with participation of all BMD weapon system elements located at different geographical locations. The BMD weapon system being referred here are primarily going to be long range tracking radars and satellites. The unique feature of AD-1 interceptor is its car band RF seeker whose unique capability minimizes the missed distance and thus improves the interception probability which enables the missile to achieve hit to kill mechanism. Now traditional missile guidance algorithms requires the use of a blast and fragmentation warhead and a proximity fuse to ensure target kill since some missed distance is predictable even with the use of a variable speed missile and sophisticated proportional navigation. But hit to kill mechanism requires direct hit to the target and very high degree of accuracy. The third missile defense system also uses hit to kill mechanism. The AD-1 has been designed for hit to kill mechanism. This method is also known as kinetic killing where the missile system is not armed with a warhead but strikes the enemy missile at very high speed. Thus, the destructive power of missile is very large. Now, another important characteristic of hit to kill method is that the interceptor missile fired against the ballistic missile does not exceed the speed at which the ballistic missile moves. The interceptor missile will hit the target with hit to kill method and will hit the lower limit of ballistic missile with hypersonic speed. If the target ballistic missile carries let's say a TNT charge of around 5 megajoule per kilogram, the impact energy of interceptor mass will be 5 times more than that of a detonating warhead of same mass. Ballistic missiles, if not intercepted accurately, can cause damage beyond imagination, especially when they are carrying nuclear warhead. 
This is the reason why the hit to kill mechanism and pinpoint accuracy becomes absolute necessity for AD1 missile. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.